93.9. K-I-S-W. <laughs> Please welcome to the show, David Allen Greer. Uh, David, welcome. Good morning. Good to have you. We've we've had some opportunities where we thought it would happen. Finally, you're here, and we're so happy to have you on the show. Well, it's great to be back here. <laughs> I always like that. I know. Right? Yeah? <laughs> listen, you know what? That, listen, sorry, it doesn't matter. You know sorry, what? I feel like we've good. known you. Well, you know, when, when for years when I would see like people from David Letterman's show, like the band guys, would go, when you coming back? And I'm like, because I've don't, I don't, never been there. Yeah. <laughs> You're so crazy, man. Come back. We love when you're on. I'm like, but I, I was never. I, uh, yeah, it was wild. So well, what's up, man? Well, how about this? You're just in time for the big news that the, uh, the, the Egyptian president, Mubarak, he just stepped down. Just said, I'm done. After his yesterday, I guess. But wait a minute. Wait a minute. I left the hotel and he was still. Yeah, I'm not. It just really? it just happened. Well, how is it that this rock station got the breaking political news? I'm serious. I got in. Are, are you? Come on. Be I got, well, I'm all over. I'm all over Twitter. Yeah. And I, I will you, tell you this. They yeah. did say that he had left Cairo. That the military had said that we're backing his plan. Yeah, and it's still on. Yeah. So maybe they were getting him out. Well, check it out. I mean, if you can see, do we have anything? It's on CNN. I don't believe com. We, this is our, our trusted news source of CNN. There you go. Do you see it? You know what? This is really going to screw up my whole set because <laughs> I do about twenty minutes of Mubarak. Why won't you oh. leave? Jokes. Oh no! What are you going to do? I'll just give you one. Like, don't you guys hate like when you know you're in a totalitarian society, right? The leader won't leave, and it's like when you hook up with a really ugly chick who stays for thirty years. Oh, but you know what? <laughs> You know, stuff like that. For like, uh, now what are you going to do? Wow, I don't know. It's yeah, question we got and right answers. Here. Right here, big story from... Well, that's from, great. How about that? That's I know, great. I, I just, but why do you have to do a punk move like there were a million people? He's like, I'm not going anywhere. I know. I'm going to stay. Okay, I'll go. I want to know what happened after that, because they did say last night, not to dwell on this, that he wasn't supposed to say that. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, well, everybody it, was like, yeah. going, you know what you're going to say, right? And he's like, I, I'm going to quit. <laughs> no, I fooled you. Fooled you. Uh, I'm a jokester. You know me. I'm always the guy. Come on. How about last uh, <laughs> Ramadan? Didn't we have fun? Come on. It's crazy. <laughs> but everybody, even, even, even President Obama was like, this is, uh, wait, what? What did he say? <laughs> so maybe the army had to, you know, pull out those AKs and we're like, let's do it again. Uh, and you know, wow. you know, President Obama's like, really? Yeah, <laughs> I know. Uh, I know. What have I done to try to help make this happen? <laughs> we got your nice place in the Hamptons where you just leave. <laughs> it, it was really cool. He's like, you know, we would urge you to get all your stuff packed. Cool. <laughs> Open the car door. So is your decision not to stay here. Okay. So he was trying to be reasonable. Well, that's good. I hope that, but I do hope that. It's just a peaceful, uh, you know, like a democracy. That's what the people Well, they're want. saying the military's taking over for Well, a that may not be too good. Yeah, that's, uh, again, we have history books <laughs> in this country. We, that's why I always laughed. I thought, Mubarak, when they are in the streets, all of them, yes. and the military's like, we're not going to stop them. Take a look at history. It doesn't go well for that guy. Why yeah, do you get the hell it out? It doesn't, I know. But also, uh, I, it's, it's, a, it's a weird situation. Like, Israel's prime minister was like, hey, let's not be to rush okay he's a nut job but we like him come on now you know so we'll see i hope that they do have elections and they elect uh, yeah someone. i guess so you know i guess david what really surprises me is that there really is if you will a level of cultural sophistication and they're mm. multi-levels you just you know when you're I'm, when you're insulated in america you kind of just don't get yeah. it in your brain that well, some people are acting the way we used to act 200 years ago. It's so yeah. hard to believe that. 200? Kind of how about 20, 30? I mean, when yeah. they were mad, someone I was asking on the plane, why don't people protest? Because we're too lazy. It's like, I tweeted twice. Why? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> really? I got 20 followers. Can I, can I, oh, I'll, listen, I'll send a video link. <laughs> you know, like, I'm following you, bro. I'm at home. But the, it's like yeah. that dog on a nail. The whole thing where, you know what, we're a dog on a nail. We're too comfortable to get up, but we're yeah. slightly uncomfortable, but not that. Yeah. But the, and the, America's done a really good job of mm -hmm. going look we keep them happy enough in right. egypt it's like dude you had to realize they weren't happy enough <laughs> well i know it sounds ridiculous but it's basically a, a king you know a ruler yeah. like who wants to you really you want to do that no so i hope this is it's exciting to watch i mean it has been because it's been uh, people have lost their lives but so far for the for the for the magnitude of this it's been relatively low no violence so let's hope yeah it for the most like, part wow. it, yeah, I mean, you know and people have gotten it got wild a few days ago and really the, mm -hmm. i'll tell you what the, the violence happened because because really, the pro president people were the oh, ones yeah. that pretty much started it. Oh, yeah. Which you go, and that's the other thing is like, who's on that guy's side? Like, what do you people think? He paid? 
people he made. Yeah. I mean, and, and he was doing like this worked in this worked in fifty three, fifty eight, seventy yeah. two. No, you got to just take a look at the recent news yeah. and go. You know what? I bet. Uh, you know what? I bet Saddam probably said, "Hey, I'd like to right. offer you some cash to be my buddy." I bet people said, oh. well, "Saddam." Saddam was rolling a different way. I mean, he yeah. he he poisoned, gassed the whole village. Well, you know, you know listen. <laughs> <laughs> like, where are you going? Come on, hey, who's perfect? Come on, come on. I mean, look, no. the guy granted his strategies questionable, <laughs> but effective. This is the coldest thing Saddam Hussein did to me. This is the cruelest thing ever. They had this footage they found of him with his family. This is true, extended family on a truffle hunt, and literally his his cronies would run ahead like a hundred yards and bury this big huge truffle, <laughs> and then go try look under the rock. Oh, we found another truffle, bubble. You know, and then, he hit, and then they'll go a little further in the middle of the desert. I was like, man, that is cold. Uh, that bad. is cold. Yeah, and they're having a picnic and stuff. Uh, so that's gangster, man. That's gangster. And yeah, I mean, God. And again, I suppose if you can live that way, but you know, at yeah, some point, I, mean, I would go, are you? I, mean, man, I think he's you, hiding the truffles, yeah. man. I don't know. All right, let me do the right. <laughs> let me do the right stuff here. David Allen yes, Greer sir. is going to be at the Parlor Live Showtimes tonight, seven thirty, ten o'clock, same time. Uh, it, it, on Saturday too, but here's the thing: all shows are sold out, but we do have tickets ex- for the Saturday ten o'clock show. So that's the one that they you can are. get tickets for. Go to parlorlive.com. You're not going to want to miss the show because you know uh, Dag makes it happen, no doubt about I have it. Fun, man. Yeah, I have fun. and I like to be here because you know what? To be on a radio station in any other market, we would not be talking for five minutes about Mubarak. They'd be going like, "Tell me about the cheese doodle dust." You know, you have a bit. <laughs> you want to talk about eating well, cheese doodles on the elevator? I mean, look, you, you guys all, are intelligent. You got the Come best. On book title ever and I was, I was, yes. ta- I was talking to the guys because I'm old enough to remember yes. the book Black Like Me and so I was I said oh I just love the title just because of the fact that he does a play on that with Barack Like Me right. and I'm wondering but I don't I mean I wonder how many people that was lost on because they just don't remember that well, amazing book when it came out how many people quite a few yeah. <laughs> quite a few but it was great I really am proud of the book but um, I think that people thought I, there were two things. First, they thought, like a lot of white people thought, because we toured during the South, all, all that stuff, oh, yeah. that it was like, you know, the slam on Barack. You know, that I was the one black dude. You know how they always paraded that one black tea yeah. party guy? Yeah. You know? Uh, and they thought it was like that. And they were like, oh, wow. But it was much more about my memoir and growing up in this country and just living through that moment and all that stuff. But it was cool. I well, really you know, and, I, and I love what you said about Barack being the, uh, you know, when, when Rush Limbaugh called him the magic Negro and everybody got mad at you know, Rush, mm-hmm. really not being mad at him for the right reasons. It's no. sort of like, it's not that he used that phrase, but it's not what Barack is. And no. like, I love the fact that you finally were, you seem to be the only one that anybody would let speak and go, can I tell you what it's about yes. and that it's not a bad thing he said it, he just used it wrong. <laughs> of course, of course, of <laughs> Nobody course. Nobody ever said that. Of course. It's like um, your friend that comes from Poland who just came to America and they want to learn slang, but it's all misused. Yeah. And in this country, man, we do, we just go crazy over words. Yes. And, you know, I mean, a guy like you who, of course, you know, you're an entertainer, you're a performer, you know, an actor, you know, I mean, it's just like there's a lot of things to really not worry about. Mm -mm. But we do, for some reason, we just go so crazy over words, never looking at the intent behind the words, whether they're nice words with bad intent or vice versa. Well, it's zero to 60. It's zero to 60. It's it's either every day. Every day you turn on the internet, it's outrage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Outrage. You know, David Allen Greer wore, uh, you know, two shoes on the wrong foot. Outrage. I mean, there's no middle line. There's no discussion. It's screaming or boredom. I mean, there's no in between. So everybody's outraged by the latest outrage. (laughs) It's all to sell soap. I mean, that's what I say. I go, look, man, every industry out there, every news industry, if they run a commercial, they're Mm -hmm. selling soap, which means they don't care whether they get it right. They just care that you stick around to buy the soap that they're selling. (laughs) Or opinion. I was watching TV uh, this morning, and it was like Teen Mom, which is, by first of all, Oh, These are the finest uh, young women <laughs> oh, in America. God. Oh, I hate that show These, so much. Oh, I love it. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, the best it. line. This this girl uh, should get an Oscar, really. If they gave Oscars for television performance. She goes, look, Mom, I'm 15. Yeah, I had a baby, but I'm still a teenager, and I want to party. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> awesome. I was like, awesome. Thank you, MTV, <laughs> for raising my kids 
for me. Yeah, she was uh, with her her new boyfriend, uh, like the mixy dude. He had like the <laughs> lip the lip ring oh, yeah. that had yeah. a little scab on it because oh, yeah. he was picking it too yeah. much. He probably ate some hot sauce or something. <laughs> and she's like, "Yo, dude, quote, yo, dude, would you like be with me and stuff? You know, does it bother you that I have a baby?" He was like, "Uh, no, nah, I'm cool." <laughs> like again, absolutely. These are our fine. They're going to be. They're on the cover of magazines. Though, oh, yeah. These teen sorry, moms, yeah. uh, David. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, but I'm old school. I really want my. I want people on TV to have talent. I, uh, t- that's I, all I ask for. Just a little bit of talent. I do too, but I watch the Kardashians. I mean, I oh. watch. You know. Well, I mean, she's got talent. I mean, you know, she has no talent. I mean, man. physical talent. You know. I mean, not was, really. I was on Dancing with the Stars, oh, and all you, the oh, you didn't, all the oh, chicks were like, right. Kim Kardashian had no rhythm. No rhythm. So she, she can't not, dance. She could not shake that. Well, booty. didn't she just get pulled up on stage with Prince? Watch and she, the tape. And she froze. Watch the tape. No, yeah. you're right, Steve. So that's yeah. probably why yeah. she didn't dance with Prince because, like, like David says, she just doesn't get. Look, yeah. it's, which is sad because I mean that's what almost a waste of a great woman. backside. Excuse me, sir. What is your name again? Bj. It is more than sad, Bj. Okay. It is national crisis. <laughs> this, my friend, is an outrage. If you have a butt like that and you can't use it, yeah. oh God, is yeah. a cruel master. That's what I say. That's what I say. And, but who am I? And that's right. You were on Dancing with the Stars, and of course, oh, people made a lot of hooey about that too. I, 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 well, I kind of, I kind of got emotionally involved. I cursed out the judges, but I got to <laughs> tell you something real quick. My brother, he's like, "Man, why did you do that, man?" I mean, you know, and I'm like, whatever. So I call him like a few weeks later. I'm watching this golf tournament. Tiger Woods loses. I'm like, Jeffrey, can you believe this? Tiger Woods lost a golf tournament. And my brother without missing me goes, did he curse out the judge? (laughs) (laughs) In the press conference. And I'm like, I hate you, man. Shut up. So I hung up on him. I hung up on him. I hung up on him, man. I I think it's awesome, though. I mean, you know, look. You go on the show to get some sort of recognition, and that, and I mean that. I was the yeah, I was the only guy that went backwards. Like they were, they were talking about Mario Lopez. Like you went on Dancing with the Stars, your career re exploded. Now he may take over for Regis Philbin. All this, I'm the the one guy in the history of the show where it went down. Adam Carolla talked me into going on that damn show. Oh, really? Uh, Jeff Ross was oh. another one. He's like, you got to do it. It's going to be the most amazing. See, experience. I would never. Jeff uh, Ross was done like in one day. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't trust yeah. Jeffrey Ross. I don't he know was. if he'd have my best interest. He, <laughs> well, now I know that. But, you know, I, in the moment, I was like, really? Really? You know, it's like, go ahead, man. Take your shirt off, man. You got muscles to inside, dude. Come on now. You know, you're like, okay, I will. And then, it, you know, it was all a disaster. But it was fun. Yeah. Uh, did I turn that around? No, I, think you, <laughs> you guys I, think turned, I think you turned it around. No, it was fun. It was fun. There well, were fun I, aspects. Dancing with my partner. Yes. The scantily clad, beautiful Ken Johnson, you know, listening I to her. I just go back and forth with that show because, I mean, for me, I have no interest in dance shows. So it's it's interesting to see why certain people who I would go, wow, I'm really that guy. Right. I love that guy. Like, I'm right. an athlete or whatever. It's like, I get it. It's a mainstream show, very successful. But, as a, you know, I just don't like dance shows. I look at them and I go, honey, uh, I don't care about I'm this. with you, man. I didn't really watch my dance until after the show was over. It's too hours every week yeah mm-hmm. that's just, a that's a football game yeah you know what I mean? that's a lot <laughs> of pasa doble so i'm with you on that too yeah all those shows i can't watch them you yeah know? top chef all stars now that's a different thing i'm but, with you, you know. on that one poor fabio Man. just got voted off i'm bummed I know, oh i hope i, I didn't well, i hope i didn't ruin it but you saw it already you know what i met fabio when we rode up to see the motorcycle race you know he's an italian guy yeah so he was riding a ducati and i said hey what's up man yeah, yeah, yeah. I like them. These guys have talent. You know, they're chefs. They're not just yeah. That means, I mean, it means something. If they got personality beyond the fact they can cook, but that's why yes. they're there because they can cook, not because they're yes. just idiots drinking and getting punched in the face. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know. But in praise of teen moms, let's not let's not be too rash. You're with absolutely that. right. You're These right. young women are doing God's work. They're that's lying good. on their backs, enjoying life. <laughs> but you know what? I look forward to the new, new season. The BJ Shea Morning Experience on ninety nine point nine KISW.